no plans, no plans at all Evil man's always transcending Fight her like sheep, swallow everything Always simple tins or pretending This is your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net I'm going to explain to you the fraud, malfeasance, and tax evasion that the banks have used for 70 million mortgages, allowing them to foreclose on millions of homes. And then I'm going to tell you how we can stop it from continuing. It's going to take five whole minutes, though, but don't fret. We'll take a nose-picking break halfway through. You see, whenever a mortgage is sold from one entity to another, the parties have to pay between $40 and $75 to the local recording office. And as you recall, that whole 2008 collapse thing involved banks taking a bunch of big old turd mortgages, painting a little mustache on them, and then saying to investors, Look, this is not a pile of turds. This is a gentleman with a big bushy mustache. What a nice guy. Look at him. So each time that was done, they had to pay on average $60. Doesn't sound like much, but each mustachioed turd pile changed hands four or five times. Still not that much money. But now multiply that by 70 million mortgages. You get about 19 or 20 billion dollars. That's roughly what would have been paid to local record offices around the country. Paid to fund things like county schools, firemen, maintenance, police officers. You know, those things. And the banks thought, we're big banks. We don't contribute to society. <laughs> what, what do we look like, fucking Angelina Jolie feeding starving babies? Does it look like I have on sandals and a hemp necklace, motherfucker? Do you think I bake kale and want to hug it out, bro? It'll be a cold day in hell before we... So the banks came up with a plan, an evil Rubik's Cube of obfuscation and bullshit called MERS, M-E-R-S, the Mortgage Electronic Registration System. It's part of the predatory lending infrastructure or devised in the mid-90s, you know, when the nation was being distracted with wrappers and parachute pants. Basically, it's where the banks keep track of those 70 million mortgages changing hands from one person to another without ever telling the local recordation offices. Now, this next part is where the homeowners really get fucked. If this were a horror movie, this would be where the funny character you liked gets his head lopped off, scooped out with a melon baller, and used as a chafing dish. So we'll call the homeowner Danny. MERS won't show Danny who owns his mortgage, so Danny is stuck trying to renegotiate his mortgage with the banks who make more in the short term from foreclosing on him than from helping him stay in his home. You may think they're trying to help you, but they're not. Ladies, it's like when a guy says he wants to help you move because of all those heavy boxes, but secretly, he's trying to fuck you. Okay. You can pick your nose now, but hurry back, the good part's coming. Here's the kicker. Most of the time, the banks can't prove they have the right to foreclose. But when it goes to court, it creates enough of a shell game to make the judges side with the banks. So when you put it all together, you have tax evasion, a hostile takeover of the local land record system, immense conflicts of interest, and illegal foreclosures. It's an all-star maneuver of greed. It's a groundbreaking magic trick from the shittiest magician ever. All right, kids, for this next trick, I'm gonna take your mortgage and I'm gonna put it in this mystery box called MERS. And when it comes out, oh, it's not going to come out. It's, it's, it's vanished. But in its place, a foreclosure notice. Ta-da! Oh, don't act so unimpressed. I just took a perfectly good mortgage and turned it into fucking trash. David Blaine dunks his head in a fish tank for ten minutes, and he's a national hero? What does he have that I don't have? I'm still playing fucking kids' birthday parties, and wah, 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 wah. He's a superhero. Do you know how humiliating it is to do magic at a child's birthday party? You know, you know what a six-year-old finds to me magic? Anything. All right, shitting his pants is magic. A spider web, earwax, sunrise. It doesn't, ma it's all magic because they don't understand science yet. It's like evangelicals. So, what to do about this cancer on our system? Well, basically, every county in the country should demand the banks pay their taxes, and it would effectively kill the MERS. Also, when a bank tries to foreclose on you, demand to see the original note. Demand they prove they own your home. A lot of times, they can't. 
Also, at least 70 registrars around the country have already sued MERS and the banks. Learn more about this issue. I can't explain it all in five minutes, especially once you factor in all your nose picking time. The description in this video will have more links in it than The Legend of Zelda, played by a one-armed toddler. So check those out. Also go to landtegrity.com and return some integrity to land ownership. And that's been your moment of clarity from LeeCamp.net. You can help MOC continue by telling your friends to subscribe at this YouTube channel. We're, we're, we're getting close to 20,000 subscribers, and I'm told by nerdy people that that will help a lot because it will give our channel a higher ranking in YouTube's algorithm. And I'm also told an algorithm is not a heart condition. I, I, I must have had that wrong. But uh, So tell your friends to subscribe, and thanks a lot. Keep fighting. No plans at all. Evil man's always transcending. Fight her like sheep, swallow everything. Always simple tins or pretending.